What's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with a word from our good father. Yes, your father has sent with another word, y'all. I don't know who needs this, but God says somebody needs this message, so I come through to bless the kingdom, okay? Listen, if you're new here, hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to be a part of this family. So don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. That way you never miss a video, okay? And if this message blesses you in any way, feel free to hit the like button. And if the Holy Spirit leads you to, don't leave without comment or sharing a video, okay? We definitely want to share the video, guys. We want to make sure this reaches whomever the Lord intends for it to reach. Amen? All right, now, family, listen, I have already prayed and welcomed the Lord in and welcomed the Holy Spirit in. Father God, I so ask that you use me, Father. I'm your vessel, Lord. Speak through me. Speak to your children, Father God. Make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now, y'all, listen, I don't know who needs this word, but God says somebody needs this thing, so I pray that it reaches you. I pray that it comforts you, and I pray that it blesses you, okay? Still get the word back before I got in prayer and test the spirit. But whoever this is for, this is going to be just what you need, okay? Your father said, I have made a way for you. I don't know who you are or where you are, okay? But God said, I have made a way for you. All right, listen to me. I'm going to give you all this word how your father gave it to me. And whoever this is for, you're going to catch this thing in the spirit, okay? So God said right now, he said he has already made a way for you. He has led you to do something and you become hesitant or stagnant, worried about how you can get it done or how man can help you with it, okay? And God is saying right now, why are you worried about something I, your shepherd, has led you to do? Okay, I don't know who this is for. All right, but I pray that it reaches you. God said you're worried about how man is not able to help you or how you can't do this thing. You know, you're limiting what God has spoken to you or spoken over you or asked you to do to what others or yourself cannot do, right, man? Because we're mankind as well, right? So God is saying right now, he said, but I have already made a way. Okay, God said, I am going to do this thing. I don't know who you are, but God said, do not put your life, do not put your success, don't put your purpose, your calling in the hand of man. Okay, he said, do not. Okay, listen, God said, I made you the promise. Man didn't make the promise, baby. Man can't make this thing come to pass. Amen. God said, I made you the promise. I will make the way. Come on now. I'm telling you, I don't know who this is for, but God made you that promise. God is going to make this thing come to pass. Do you hear me, child of God? I don't know who you are, but God said, stop thinking about how you can get it done with the help of man. How you can get it done with the resources you used to use and in your own strength. Amen. God said, you need to focus on how you're going to get it done with his help. He said, I need you to lean on me. Amen. I'm telling you, God has been calling for his children to lean on him. A lot of us are trying to, you know, get other people to help. And we're, God say, don't limit to yourself. Don't limit to him. Don't put him in a box of, of who he's going to do it through. God say, you have no idea how I'm going to do this for you. Okay. But God wants you to know, baby, he has already made a way for you. Okay. Do not, do, I'm telling you, I don't know who you are or what God has led you to do. He said, but you have to remember, I am the good shepherd. Okay, he said, I am a good shepherd, baby. I led you to it because I knew you would get through it. Listen to me. Your father said, baby, I led you to it because I knew you would get through it. I don't know who you are, but God said, baby, don't be worried about what you could do or what, what other people could do to help you. He said, you got to know that he is going to help you through this thing. Amen. God is going to help you. I don't know who this is for, but baby, if you feel that thing in the spirit, y'all, listen, if you feel it in the spirit, whoever this is for, say, God is going to help me. Yes, baby, God is going to help you. Somebody say that thing out loud. Get it in your subconscious mind, baby. When doubt come in, baby, when fear come in, when you start thinking about what you can and can't do, baby, just say, baby, say to yourself, God is going to help me. Say it out loud. Type that thing out, somebody. Type it out. Say, God is going to help me. 
Baby, God wants you to lean on him. We be quick to say, oh, I look to the hills where my help come from. But when life start lifing, when the pressure is on, when you don't know how to get this thing done, do you look to God? And God is calling for us to look to him, family. God is saying, I want my children to lean on me. It is my word. I will make this thing come to pass. Man don't know what God is up to, baby. We don't know what God is up to, baby. And, and, and uh, if you think somebody else know what God is trying to do for you, baby, you're wrong. You're wrong. God say, look to me. Lean on me. I'm going to make a way for you. Don't limit what God is trying to do for you in your life. What God has called you to do for what you can do, how you can make this thing come to pass, or how man can make this thing come to pass. Lean on God. God say, I'm going to help you through this thing. I have already made a way for you. I don't know who you are, but I, I pray this thing reaches you. And I pray this thing, listen, I pray it blesses you. Do you hear me? God say, baby, you're limiting yourself. You're being stagnant. You're hesitating on making moves. Your father, the good shepherd, has led you to make. Do you trust your father? Come on now. We, you may not know the plans, but you know that were their plans. His plans are not to harm you. Amen. His plans are not to harm you. Come on now. God say, do you trust me? Amen. Listen, let me give y'all some, let me give y'all some scripture, then I'm going to let y'all go. I don't know who this is for, but baby, I pray this thing reaches you, okay? I pray that it reaches you in Jesus' name. I want you to know, God say, baby, when I make a promise, when God make a promise, he's not making a promise that he just working on. He's waiting. He said, I make a promise. The promise is complete when I speak the word, when I give you the dream, when I give you the vision. Come on now. He say the promise is already completed. Remember, we said, baby, the future is already done. We just waiting to see it. God said, baby, the promise was complete when I spoke the word. Amen. He said, when I spoke that thing to you, baby, it was already done. Okay, so you don't have to try to figure it out. God is not. God does not want us to figure it all out, guys. God does not want us to figure it all out, okay? He said, you don't have to go find people and, and oh, I'm going to call this. I'm, he said, baby, I already have resources. Okay, I already have resources, okay? He said, baby, I've already made a way for you. All right? Listen, y'all love y'all. Let's let me give y'all some scripture, okay? Then I'm going to let y'all go. Listen, it's 2 Kings. It's 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 3 through 10. Okay, I encourage you guys to read it. Okay, and let it bless you. Amen? Again, it's 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 3 through 10. All right, listen, y'all, this is when the, um, go back and read it, y'all, because I'm not going to go through it verbatim, okay? But this is when the, um, the four men were, you know, they were sick with leprosy, right? They were, because it's a sickness, right? We're going to, we're going to go with, it was, it was a sickness, right? Uh, a disease, a leprosy, right? It says leprosy, all right? So they were at the entrance gate, okay? At the city entrance gate. They said to each other, why stay here until we die? If we say we'll go into the city, the famine is there and we will die. And if we stay here, we will die. So let's go over to the camp of the Armenians and surrender. If they spare us, we will live. If they kill us, we will die. And before dusk, y'all, before dusk, God has called the Armenians, okay, the Armenians to hear chariots and, and, and horsemen coming. So they fleed and left everything in the camp. So when the four four men that were uh that had leprosy, when they reached the camp, okay, they reached the camp, they found the camp empty with all the food, all the drink, okay, all the silver, okay, they had horses. There was more than enough there, amen. So they were looking for a way. Okay, it was like, well, let's they was willing to surrender to man. Okay, and some of you guys are willing to surrender to man. To make God promise come to pass. But God had already made a way for them. Baby, God had made them hear. Okay? They heard they heard chariots. Okay? And horses. They thought it was the people were coming to attack them. So they ran. Baby, so the things that they, they thought they were going to have to go surrender. Okay? So even the plans that we have for ourselves. God is like, it's not even going to go down the way you think it's going to go down. All right? So I'm telling you right now, I don't know who this is for, but God is saying, baby, I have already made a way for you. You're worried about how you can get it done. Remember, they say they trying to figure out this. Like, if we stay here, if we go, if we do this, God is saying, do what I asked you to do. And when you get there, you're going to see how I have made a way for you. 
okay? God say, when you get there, you're going to see how I have made a way for you. Amen? I don't know who this is for, but your father wants you to know, baby, man is not going to do this thing for you. You are not going to do this thing for you. God is going to do this, okay? This is going to get done with the help of God. And God has been doing this with his children because he wants to build our faith on him, not to all, to lean on man. Remember, God said he don't want us to be codependent on man. So he's teaching us to lean on him. This is a faith building year, family. Lean on your father. Allow God to help you, okay? Like God told me, he said, y'all to get out my way. When we get out God's way, we get out our way and we, we get out his way and allow him space to do what he's trying to do. Amen. So remember, it's God's word. It is God's promise. He will make it come to pass. Okay. All right, y'all. I love y'all so much. I don't know who needed this, but I pray that it reaches you. Okay. And I pray that it blesses you. Amen. Listen, y'all. I love y'all with the love of God, family. Thank you so, so much for the love, the comments, the likes, the shares, the new subscribers, the new followers. Hey, y'all. What's up, family? I see y'all. Listen, I see y'all coming through, y'all. We had 100K on you. YouTube. Thank you, God, because listen, God's been working. So I thank y'all for being here, sowing your time with me, the seeds that you have been sowing, the donations, guys, the gifts that you sent it. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for giving to the mission, the uh, the vision that God has here, what he's going to do through this family, what he's going to do through this ministry. I thank you. And I pray that God will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive. It is in Jesus name that I'm praying for you, God. Guys, amen. Listen, family, go out and live a blessed life. You know, the blessed life comes from first being a blessing.